all of these cookies. Isn't that the beauty of it? I can't wipe the smile off my face. This is kind of the dream. session to show you. I'm just so proud of my little business. I'm just so happy. Can you see that? Like I'm literally on the ocean. Hello, happy Monday. Today is a new week, a new vlog, and it is such a good day. I am about to go and deliver all of these cookies. Like this is a heavy, heavy stack of cookies. And so I've got about a 45 minute drive to go and deliver these. And I think she's handing them out to all of her clients because she runs a business. And I'm just so proud of my little business. Like, like I did that. Like I did that. And someone wants to buy it and give it out to their clients. Like, that's so cool. I need to figure out this lens. Like if we stop for a minute, I'm pretty sure it's like focusing in and out, right? I need to figure this out. But anyway, I'm gonna go deliver all of these cookies. Oh, I'm just so proud of my little business. Let me just turn the music down for a bit. I've just realized that this is me on a random Monday. I've just baked like hundreds of cookies. Now I'm going to deliver them in my car that has aircon and Bluetooth. And I'm listening to my favorite songs, just having a little road trip on a Monday morning. Like that's part of my life. <laughs> Isn't that just so crazy? And I literally, like I live at the beach. Like I feel like this is, kind of the dream wow like this is my life like i have created this like i chose to move to this town i chose to start this business and now this is my life like <laughs> what i literally i can't wipe the smile off my face what do you mean oh wow that's oh i can't even i think maybe just because this song came on by Dirt, which is all about like the dream life with like the happy family and the you know just moving through life together and things like that and I'm like hang on a second that's kind of my life right now like I am a fiance we I am so happy in my life and I'm on my way to creating like the dream like I know that this is only like one little cookie order but like imagine if my life is just filled with baking and decorating cookies and you know at the end of the day the love of my life comes home I've got two beautiful dogs that are healthy and happy thank goodness like if you've watched my last vlog you'll know that one of my dogs was not healthy but I think he's pretty much on the mend now thank goodness it kind of just seems too good to be true like I I almost hate when things feel this good because I know that something bad is about to happen or like something really bad's about to come up but right now I'm just I don't know I'm having a bit of a moment where I'm like I've literally created my dream life here oh okay I'm getting emotional <laughs> okay I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the camera off I'm gonna drive and I'm just gonna sit in this little bubble of happiness because I'm just so happy like how how did I do this? Like all of the choices and decisions that I have made in my life have led me to today. Like I can see, like I can pretty much see the beach from the road. Like, no, nah, I can't. I'm too, I'm, <sighs> anyway, I'm a happy girl this morning. I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna turn the camera off. Wow, I hope, I hope maybe this is maybe inspiration, I don't know, like if you want to start a business or if you want to 
move to that town you've always wanted to move to like do it I don't know <laughs> it's feeling a bit too like oh inspirational motivational blah but like honestly do it like what's stopping you I don't know anyway thank you for listening to me rant and I'm gonna go have the best day I just delivered the cookies they were so lovely and I love this little town I think I might Mm, I don't know if I wasn't too busy I'd probably go and explore today but hopefully maybe they'll reorder if they enjoy the cookies this time and then I'll get to come back here because it's just such a cute quaint little town and it reminds me a lot of country Victoria like the main streets just the way they look and like the light poles and I don't know that might sound really weird but it just reminds me of a really cute little country town and I just love it here so I hope I get to come back but yeah my first big delivery is a success I'm so happy and I'm so sorry if this is annoying to look at but like I'm really trying to stop that little in and out focus thing like I like I don't know how to fix it I don't know if my camera is just broken this means that this means that this is the second camera I've broken which uh, is just not the vibe but like I'm looking in the viewfinder now and it's not right like it's it's I don't know if you can tell but it's it's very subtle but it's really annoying to me like I'm trying to like if I get if I get like this to focus right see that's focus and then I'll pull it away and then that should focus on me properly but it doesn't because it's still like flashing focus anyway that is a problem for another day because I'm busy girl today. I know it's really so annoying. All my videos today have literally been in this exact same spot, but I'm not in the same spot anymore. I just went to the cafe and got a chicken Caesar wrap. I'm gonna have that for lunch. And then I need to go to the post office because someone ordered all four of what was left of my blind dates with a book. So, so excited. So I'm gonna package them all up and send them off to New South Wales. And I also need to pick up something from the post office that said it was there last time when I went but wasn't there I don't know I need to shop at Kmart I broke my kitchen scissors I don't know how I broke them but like I literally couldn't open them and then when Rowan tried to oh my god there's a spider on my camera oh my god where did that little guy come from oh <laughs> um yeah I broke my kitchen scissors I need to look for a book for my nan and some containers just boring stuff but yeah that's my day today and I'm just having the best day a little road trip doing little errands like a cafe lunch, it really doesn't get better. It's time to set up the Christmas tree. I don't know if you can hear, but we have like some Christmas jazz music in the background. And I actually saw a video somewhere that said you can tell how old a Christmas tree is by the amount of tape that like tapes it together. Cause like Christmas trees are notorious for like not closing. And ours is one year old and you can tell because it only has one lot of tape on it.
Hi, it is Thursday today. I have just been doing so much baking and decorating of cookies these last couple of days that I just, I haven't had time to film anything. Like today is my first break from doing stuff. <laughs> and I'm just feeling a little bit overwhelmed and a bit exhausted. I have another cookie, I have another cookie delivery this morning. Today we have two boxes and they are individually wrapped mini hearts that are pink and white marbled. They say thank you and they're for a hairdresser. So I'm really, really excited about these. Let me give you a little look. So this is what you see when you open the box. There's a little thank you card. You open up the tissue paper. Oh. There's a little business card, nutrition information. And you open it up and then there are all these like individually wrapped little thank you hearts. So at the hairdresser, when you're just sitting waiting for your hair to dry or like waiting for your hair to do whatever, then have a little thank you cookie. How cute is that? Shocker, I'm in the car again. I'm off to do a cookie delivery and to get some bits and pieces from grocery shops. I've got the Greatest Showman soundtrack on this morning and I'm feeling so good. Also the wind today is blowing from the east and my hay fever, I feel like has never been worse. <laughs> so I can, I feel like my eyes are barely open. <laughs> Oh, it's just the worst feeling. I just never thought the wind would affect how I feel. Like I've never paid attention to the wind before. But like here we have like the beach on one side and like wheat fields on the other. So like depends on which way the wind is going as to like the weather, which is really weird. really annoys me people that don't go 40 in a school zone like it's literally 8 26 in the morning and there was someone just literally speeding past me at 70. it's like i don't think you can get much lower there's no excuse for it i know it's a really weird law in the act where it just goes all day like obviously don't speed but like if it's like a two hour period in the morning and two hours in the afternoon when the kids are coming like just go 40. Like, <laughs> it just baffles me. It just makes me so angry when literally everyone else is doing 40 and there's this one loser that's not. Don't be that person. I don't know. Just don't be that person, please. <laughs> there is nothing that grinds my gears more than someone who doesn't obey school zones. I don't know. Just my opinion. And you're Jehovah's Witness Let me just show you how close I am to the ocean. Can you see that? Like I'm literally on the ocean. I know you're probably so sick of seeing me in the car, but I've just pulled up to good guys because I don't know what's going on with this camera. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's very like fuzzy, blurry, and I don't like that. So I think I'm just gonna go get a new camera. And I also got a text. <laughs> I also got a text from them because I'm in their like system or whatever that says like, if you spend over $200, get $30 off. I'm like, probably no better time to do it. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna hopefully find the camera that I want and just get it because if this one's broken, no fun to watch. And then it's gonna affect my videos and it's just not the vibe. It's 9.03 and they opened at nine o'clock and I don't wanna be the only one in there cause that's a bit awkward. I know it's so annoying when people come into the cafe at like <laughs> one minute past we're open and then they just order so much stuff. Oh, no, there's other people going in. Okay. Oh, also, I treated myself this morning. Probably shouldn't have since I'm about to go buy an expensive camera. But there's this place in town that do the best donuts. And I got myself a caramel biscoff one. Oh, yum. Can't wait to eat that. I also got the boys some dog food which is sitting on the seat next to me and some Panadol. Fun stuff. The camera search was unsuccessful. They only had DSLRs and like the Osmo Pocket 3 or whatever it is. Um, they are not the ones that I wanted so did not get anything. Maybe this one is back to working again. Really can't tell. Just a little bit frustrating.
cry. Good morning, it is Saturday. I have a new song obsession to show you. So, so good. Can't forget the sunscreen. Oh, we have one load of washing. Can we put that out first? Every time we put sunscreen on, Cosmo just cries because we normally put sunscreen on before we go to the B E A C H. Have to also spell. spell it. Huh? He can spell. He can, <laughs> he can spell, sorry. But oh my goodness, I don't mean to be the person always talking about the weather, but yesterday it got up to, I think the temperature thing said 38.4 degrees. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it was hot. And I basically, and I basically work outside and the wind was blowing in the way that was like blocked. So we had no wind whatsoever. Oh, it was just such an awful day. I'm really not excited for summer. Are you able to do for my back, please? Camera. Not on the camera, okay. <laughs> Apparently some people put sunscreen on. Oh. Um, every single day because it's meant to be really good for like keeping your skin nice and just like not aging in the sun yeah. yeah but i don't know could you imagine the feeling of sunscreen on your face every single day no matter what i think i put it on a lot of work yeah i think i should definitely wear more sunscreen than i do we just had a fun little outing getting some bits and pieces this one is for Rowan's lunches. If you can hear Ziggy barking in the background, I'll show you in a second what they got. We got some small plates because every time people come over, we've only ever got like big dinner plates. Oh my goodness, Ziggy. So we got some cute little lemon ones and then Rowan chose this pattern. A silicone loaf pan because our other one got stained. Some toothpaste. Now I got these, which I think will be really cute for cookies. So you can like get cookies with your pets on them and like I can customize it to the shape, the color, like what type of dog you have. So I think that'll be very, very fun for next year. I'm already swamped this year, so I won't be adding any more <laughs> new things. Rowan got a coffee, I got some cheesecake, and then we just got this container from the reject shop. And the most fun thing we got was for the boys. It's already had so much fun. We got them soccer ball. Have they lost interest? Hey, are you eating blueberries? Better not be eating blueberries. What were you doing in here? They've lost interest. Well, I thought I was going to bring you out here and the boys are going to be running around like crazy with their soccer ball because Ziggy was just barking, obviously having fun, but they're a bit bored of it. Excuse my hair today. I literally just got caught in the rain. Um, but we have decided to do a little pottery thing today. So this is what I'm gonna try and make. I'm not very good at things like this. I really enjoy them. I think they're really fun, but I'm just not good at it. But this is what I'm gonna try and make. So we're gonna try and make little like tea light holders. And this one is like a bear and a bunny in like a campfire setting. Wish me luck. And then we're just gonna keep going on our Geordie Shaw. Cute little Saturday. So this is my little creation. I've done two little snowmen. One's a, one's a boy, one's a girl. And they're sitting around a little campfire and there's gonna be like a little tea light here and it's gonna get all painted in a couple of days and hopefully it looks cuter once it's painted, but yeah, they've got little wire hands. You scratch the surface and you yeah, know yeah, so that, that dark, there so. needs the water. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah we tonight. The macadamia. I don't think they require too much, yep. but mm -hmm. just once again, don't let them dry right out. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they're fine with regular soil? Yes, yeah, yep. they're fine. I've only just potted them. They were okay. in small ones like this. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, so, so I've just repotted that. That can stay in. They have Christmas music in November. So we just went to this lady's home garden and we got a macadamia tree and a blueberry bush or blueberry tree or something. And we just went to Bunnings, we got some, we got a pot, we got some soil, and then we're gonna go pop these in the backyard. I love being little plant people. 